This has been an historic day in Washington as the House Judiciary Committee voted to approve articles of impeachment against President Trump. The party line vote didn't surprise anyone, but it sets the stage for more debate and a vote in the full House perhaps as soon as next week. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign is working in Maine, pushing ahead to get the president's name in front of voters. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan reports. On a day of drama in Washington, the Trump campaign decided this was the right time to make a show of force in Maine. Mr. Nagoose. Aye. The vote in Washington may have been front and center for the political world in D.C., but a few hours later, supporters of Donald Trump took the first official steps to get him four more years, turning in petitions they say contain 3,000 names who all want the Trump name on the Maine primary ballot. We've been chomping at the bit to do this. Maine Republican Party Chair Dr. Demi Kazumas says delivering the petitions today was no coincidence. So we've had all the signatures sitting around waiting for the right time to do it. She and Trump campaign strategist Mercedes Schlapp called the impeachment effort by Democrats a sham. They're pushing this partisan impeachment that is tearing up this country. And said their focus is on getting Trump reelected. While Maine Democratic Party Chair Kathleen Mara told us they are also more focused on the campaign than impeachment. We talk about what we're doing to remove uh, Trump from office in, in, by voting. We talk about uh, defeating Susan Collins. We talk about what we can actually do to make a difference. But the Trump campaign is playing to win here. In 2016, the Trump campaign won more Maine counties than Hillary Clinton, but Clinton won where more people live and took the state with 47.8% of the vote. Trump did get one electoral vote from the 2nd District and is hoping for more. We feel that for Maine is very important to us. The nominating petitions are the needed first official step, but Schlapp says the Trump campaign already has seven staff members working in Maine to shore up his support here. Impeachment aside, both parties and all of their candidates will now be looking ahead at the primary in New Hampshire in February and the one in Maine in March. In Augusta, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.